my dieters. So today we want to talk about five reasons why your brain hates exercise. We all have done this. Like you go to sleep and you write on your little to-do list, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna exercise. But when you wake up, the first thing you do, you're like, no, I don't wanna exercise. But when you go to sleep, you're like, I'm totally gonna do this. So we wanna talk about why you tend to feel that way. And also I'm gonna try to give you a few fixes so you can end up exercising. Without further ado, let's get into the video. To all my returning subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. My channel is growing by the day and I have to tell you, I appreciate you. I thank you for the support. If you are a newcomer, thank you so much for stopping by today. Remember to complete the ritual that makes you family and click the subscribe button down below. Also click the notification bell so you are notified every time that I upload a new video. And remember to like, share with your family and friends and I wanna know your thoughts, okay? Let me know your opinion on the subject matter that we're discussing today down in the comment section and I will get back to you and we can have a full-on discussion in the comment section. So, we said we're talking about five reasons why your brain hates exercise. Well, the first reason may be because you're choosing the wrong exercises. I can definitely relate to this I have dreaded exercise like forever. I remember when I first signed up to go to the gym, you know, they have that step class and I didn't mind the steps, you know, the beginning of the steps, but there's this move, this one move that they did towards the end of the step session where they will continually just be like doing this like virtual jog and they will go on for like nine minutes nonstop and I would just be like, man, I'm not coming here again. But when I started weightlifting and I actually really loved it, lifting weights and doing body uh, resistance exercises, all these different things that really are aiming at building muscle, I realized that I actually like exercise. Even though I did kind of mess it up and I have to get back into it, I'll explain about that later. But um, yeah, pick an exercise that you like but perhaps you may enjoy a nice walk outside looking at nature, even seeing cars pass you by or just the fresh air. Um, maybe you don't like doing certain exercises. Find an alternative. Like for me, I hate, I love squats, but I cannot do them because of my knee problems. But you can always find another exercise or a different type of uh, approach to the same exercise that can give you the same results that you need. The second reason why your brain may hate exercise right now is you're working out for weight loss. Like if you're working out with a goal in mind, like I want to burn a thousand calories in this session, which is too much by the way, let's just say, you may actually tend to just hate it. But if you're exercising because you want to release the endorphins and you you are thinking about your heart health and you're thinking about what is doing to your body what is it's making you stronger it's uh improving your overall health if you have that mentality you know remember we're talking about the brain here if you change how you look at it not just i want to lose weight i want to lose weight and in a video prior to this one i'm going to put it right here we actually discussed that exercising for weight loss is actually a waste of time so take weight loss off the table. Just think in your mind, like, you know what, what I want to do is I want to improve my health because exercise is so, so necessary for every person. Think, I want to improve my health. I want to live longer. I want to, you know, be stronger. If you think in that way, chances are your brain is going to be, you know, more geared to, especially the stronger part, when you feel like, yeah, when I exercise, I'm definitely going to be stronger, strong enough to last the whole day working, strong enough to be able to run after my kids, strong enough to be able to hang out with my friends, my boys, and people that I, you know, enjoy the company of. I think if you look at it that way, you're going to start liking exercise or at least 
it'll be bearable. Okay, the next reason why your brain may hate exercise is you don't like the shape of your body. There are certain exercises that when you do them, they're not flattering at all. So if you already have some kind of body image issues, you're not gonna work, wanna work out, especially working out in a gym. Like sometimes when you do sit-ups, um, your stomach would tend to kind of roll up. You know, you have those rolls, the fat rolls tend to show up. And if you're at the gym or if you're single at the gym, you're thinking maybe my future husband may be here and he's seeing all these fat rolls. No, that is not looking cute. Or you're just self-conscious about certain things that you're doing. Maybe your form is not right and you're thinking, man, if I'm doing this with my crooked back and all that, it's not looking good. So if you don't like your body, you may not like working out. Because certain poses or form required for these exercises may actually highlight the things that you want to hide about yourself. So, so what I would recommend is for you to find a supportive environment for you to do your workouts, not to work out close to people who are going to be like, girl, are those fat rolls I see? Or girl, why are you looking like that? Or mm, your form is not right. Like find somebody who's going to encourage you. Like, you know what? You're getting there. You're getting ready. Or you know what? I see that roll, but that's why you're here. Or look at mine, look at my fat roll too. Find somebody that can support you when you're exercising, or if you don't have that person, uh, find a DVD or go online, find an exercise class and work out in the comfort of your own home where you don't have to worry like so-and-so is seeing me when I'm squatting, I don't look so cute, or I don't look, you don't have to worry about all that. You simply have to worry or concentrate on making your body stronger and improving your health while you're exercising. The next reason why your brain probably hates to exercise is you're probably going overboard. You're overdoing it. Too much of anything. I don't care how good it is. It ends up just being, uh, wah, 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 you know, yucky. If you eat cake every single day, it's not going to be a special treat anymore. If you eat ice cream every single day, it's not going to be a treat anymore. But if you do the right amount of exercise for your body type, that's going to give you the exact benefits that you're looking for. Chances are you're going to do it every day. Imagine exercising every day for 30 minutes and being consistent about it versus exercising one day a week for two and a half hours and then just being burned out to a point where you're like, man, I'm not doing this tomorrow. You know, when you overdo it, like I've, that's been my mistake when it comes to exercise. Like I will see, I love Jessica Smith TV. I love Fitness Blender. So I will see something because they're doing it so perfectly. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. I can do that. And then tomorrow I'll do one workout. I'll do a full body workout and I'll do another one. And I keep on doing more and more and more because I think, hey, I'm strong. I can do this. But I don't realize that you have to conserve your energy for your next workout why you want to push yourself and you know get to the next level when it comes to your physical strength as well as your endurance when you overdo it you're taking away the zeal from the next session so you're not going to actually be consistent when it comes to your exercise you're just going to go hard one time and then tomorrow you're like nah i'm done so what i would encourage you is maybe start with mild to moderate pace walking maybe 30 minutes uh, a day. And then when your body gets used to that and you feel like, okay, I can do this, uh, move to a brisk walk. If you can even go further, go on a jog. And if you can even push a little bit more further, you can go to maybe sprints. Work your body incrementally, you know. Start maybe with a five pound weight, go to a 10 pound weight, go to a seven pound weight, go to a 15 pound weight, Go slowly, slowly, slowly so that you don't get burned out and end up just dreading to exercise. So the fifth reason and the last reason that your brain hates exercise is you're in pain. We dealt with this in a previous video. Whenever you feel pain when exercising, that's not normal. A little discomfort, maybe when you feel like, oh, I'm straining a little bit, that's normal. But when you feel just like pain, like I can't do this anymore, you need to stop. A bad back, knee problems, shoulder problems, just like me. Like I love doing squats. 
unfortunately I can't do them anymore because my knees are so bad I already had bad knees but I kind of hurt them because I was doing those single knee squats and lunges and I could not have done a worse thing for my joints and my bone health because I, I was doing things and I even felt pain but I kept on ignoring it because I was like mind over matter you know I'm you know but never ignore pain whenever you feel like okay I think I'm in pain and I'm straining it stop immediately don't even gradually stop stop talk to your doctor about maybe physical therapy or what you can do is if you have knee problems you can go online go on uh, YouTube you can search any video where you have I know Jessica Smith has a knee friendly lower body workout or you can google some low impact exercise that you can do so you can still have the benefits of exercise without actually causing your body more pain so anyway blank dieters that's all i have for you today remember to like share and subscribe if you're a newcomer leave me a comment on the topic that we're discussing and i will definitely get back to you so till the next video bye